Acts 27, verses 21 to 24. Since they had been without food for a long time, Paul stood up among them and said, Men, you should have listened to me and not have set sail from Crete and incurred this injury and loss. Yet now I urge you to take heart, for there will be no loss of life among you, but only of the ship. For this very night there stood before me an angel of the God to whom I belong and whom I worship. And he said, Do not be afraid, Paul. You must stand before Caesar. And behold, God has granted you all those who sail with you. Yesterday we heard that the Lord had given Paul his word that he would be a witness for him in Rome. We also found out that the Jews decided they were going to kill him. But Paul was whisked away. The next thing we know is that Paul was placed on a ship as a prisoner to go to Rome to stand trial before Caesar. Sometimes the way you expect your deliverance or the fulfillment of the prophecy on your life or the accomplishment of God's will in your life may not be the way that it happens. But as long as God's will is being accomplished, then to God be the glory. Paul did not go on a cruise to Rome. He did not take a fair pain trip to Rome. He was going to Rome as a prisoner, along with other prisoners, in the care of a centurion and the soldiers under his command. But he was going to Rome. Of course, in the earlier part of the journey, the Lord caused Paul to know that it was not the right time to set out. But when he told them, you know, this was a prisoner who had no nautical experience, and so when he told them no, they conferred with the specialists and the professionals, and they looked on the possible costs and challenges and decided to proceed. And of course, as it always is, God's word is true, whether it is the type that we would expect, whether it agrees with the professionals and specialists or not. So they ended up in a Northeaster, a storm called Eurachlodon. The winds blew from the northeast round by the east to the southeast. And the ship was in trouble. The sailors were throwing all kinds of things overboard, just trying to keep the ship afloat. But Paul was certain that whatever it took, he would be safe because God gave his word. God said, you shall testify of me in Rome. And then, of course, the Lord sent his angel to confirm it after days in the storm to say to him, you will stand before Caesar and I'm going to take care of all of those who are with you. And so I'll say this very quickly. It is important to pay attention to whom we align ourselves with. These men, prisoners and soldiers and sailors, were in danger. Their lives were in danger. And in some cases, because they failed to follow instructions. 
However, because they were aligned to, because they were with the man whose life had a purpose on it, they were also saved. You see, God will keep his word. And like it was with Lot and Abraham, if we are aligned to purpose-filled and purpose-driven persons and ministries, then we will receive blessings, safety, and protection even beyond our rightful expectations. So believe God. He will keep his word. And remember, be aligned to purpose-filled and purpose-driven persons and ministries so that the blessings of God will envelop you and protect you. God bless you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And for more, please visit us on a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually as we stream live on Facebook. See you soon.